it's not like that. I'm saying, of course, we're cool. We have to stay cool. So, like, every time he, if I see him and he drunk, right? He try to make me feel bad over what happened. Like he always be like, yeah, but you did this to us. You did this to us. You did this to us. And I'm looking at him, so what the fuck did you do? He said, all I did was cheat. If you get an 80% good nigga, 80%? You didn't give me 80%? What the fuck? You gave me, what you gave me was schoolyard. And you gave me schoolyard. You didn't give me Jonathan Porter. You didn't, okay, okay, we get it. Like, I can't hear him talking back in my head, so I'm just like, let me stop. <sighs> like, I don't know, okay, let me be honest. So we got this little thing, right? So since he been at, okay, since, since you know, I've been moved, I moved out the house. It's like, uh, panic attacks, because I'm going to be honest, I'll be having panic attacks, I'll be feeling like I'm scared and shit, and he, um, that's what I'm saying, he's not all bad, he's not all bad. I'll be having these panic attacks, and I'll pull up in a black truck out front of the house. And then wait, the truck will pull off, and I'll wait till he pull out his driveway for me to get in his car. And then I'll see whoever in the window looking at me, and I'll get right in the car, and we come to my shit. And what I, what, the reason why I say that is because, like, it's something real there, bro. <laughs> like, 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 this nigga love me, yo. <laughs> Like, like right now, right now, like, say I, I take the line, I'm getting the car, I go to wherever he's at, and I'm like, do I need you? No. I don't care who you with, what you doing, what you doing. Right now. He just say, all right. That's that's one thing I do love about him. <laughs> like, it's just, I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know what that is. Because it's it been times when, like, yeah, I'm doing a lot on my own, but it's getting so overwhelming because I haven't did this on my own shit in a minute, right? So I have, like, like, PTSD or something. Like, I don't know. I'll be, like, and the only person that could calm me down is, what like, what I love. And I love him so much, it just, it helps. I'm, like, I don't feel nauseous no more. I don't. It's just, I just need a hug. And it's not any old hug. It's a hug from him. That's the weird part. So then we put on this live front on the ground. I don't even know what for. Because a long ass time ago, right? Before it got real bad, I used to ask him like, what's up? What's in your world? like?" I used to ask him about, I ain't even going to get into that. I might want to get, we, we might go live and talk about that together then. So, but like, hey, be Simone. I'm talking about some bullshit over here. Oops. But, uh, oh, codependency? What's codependency? What's codependency? Like, when you depend on somebody? Or it's codependency, codependency a spiritual thing because ain't nothing wrong with him. He he's he what he's really cool. Like I can't I can't. Only reason why I start, started the way I started the conversation was because, like, I saw his tweets and they pissed me off. Like, boy, why are you tweeting like that? Why are you wanting them people like that? What did you want? Know? 
Because we are moving on, but I'm not spitefully moving on. I'm spitefully moving. You know, I'm not spitefully moving. I'm, I'm moving like gracefully, like, okay. While well, you spitefully moving, I'm gonna just make sure all, like, everything I have to get done, get done on Krishan. Like, you know, Krishan, this is your responsibility. Da -da 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 -da. Like, take care of that, take care of that. So I start taking care of my responsibilities and kind of like, kind of fake drawing a line, like, no. You can't take care of that for me because it wasn't, it wasn't even taken care of, it was just, Codependency is like you're thinking for yourself and not what a What you say, Scotty? You all like stop talking about him. No. Fuck you won't stop talking about me. I mean, I, okay. That's the other thing. I started this because if I didn't tweet what I said about drinking a lot, he wouldn't have done all that other shit. But it's like, I'm sorry, but I'm being honest. Like, why didn't you, hey, babe, you don't got to drink. Let me eat your pussy. What you mad about? What you, what's hurting you? He didn't know that I'm drinking. It's just like, I don't know, bro. I know, like, I, uh. I ain't even trying to say what I know because I'm going to be quiet. But I just know that shit ain't right. Yeah. <laughs> like that, bro. No, in the beginning, okay, in the beginning before we was like real relationships, like we was in relationships, like before we was in a relationship, he used to tell me, why are you acting like I'm the only nigga you want to fuck with? Blah, blah. You should have friends. You should have friends. So I was like, all right, fuck it. So I had a couple people that, like, like just people I kept in cahoots with, like, just being cool with them. They, they cool. They, I'm attracted to them, but it ain't not so much. Yeah, so, but we texting and shit. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure them out. They're trying to figure me out. Ooh, wow, well, wow. Well. So it got to a point, like I remember one day he checked my phone, he wasn't okay with that. And I was just like, but you just told me I can't have friends. Well, now you my bitch, you can't no, no, blah, 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 blah. We'll school y'all crib, right? So I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. So then I started saying, oh no. So he cut back on a lot of shit. But it wasn't enough for me. Just like as if it wasn't enough for him. Like. He like, I went from five to seven to like one and you. Or one or two to you. Okay. Let's see how that worked. It didn't work at all. So when it didn't work out, I'm the bad guy. Like, what the fuck? And then the sneaking and geeking and shit, it's like kind of confusing because like, how are we sneaking and geeking and um, stealing our feelings? That's not sneaking and geeking. I don't even think sneaking and geeking is natural. Like it's toxic as fuck too. It's not good for the brain, body, spirit, mind, nothing. It's sneaking and geeking. You're sneaking and geeking about it. Like that shit is not funny at all. But, since I made that tweet, he cut me off for good now. He said he's gonna stay away from me. <laughs> and I'm okay. That's fine. Cause like, when we used to get in beast, right? He used to be like, yeah, I might not be home tonight. Yeah, he used to flex like he ain't coming home. 
But the only thing, it was the only reason why I was hurting me because it was his shit. But if it was my shit and he said he not coming to me to my shit, cool. You don't gotta be in my shit. Huh? But it was hitting different because I'm over there with like it's just weird, y'all. And then it's like I did like I like having a man and all this other shit. But I love being single because it's healthier that way. Because even when I was in a cahoot relationship with him, no, we're not here to bash blue. We just here to just talk about some shit. So look. I don't know. We just have a, a weird relationship. He has my back, and I have his. He say I don't have his, and he, he know I do. <laughs> he just don't like want to say I do, but I do. He like, well, you wanted to be all the way. You wanted to be somewhere. Cause you remember them texts I exposed, and it's like he's telling me to come here. And then he's like, matter of fact, fuck that. You can just leave, right? While he's telling me to come here, while he's doing all that fake begging, he's not begging, bro. He's he's trying to see if he can still be like, check your DM. All right, babe, I'm going to check my DM. Yeah, we're supposed to make out. I was supposed to jump on that baby daddy uh, track you just did with your fake belly, and I got a real one. Why wouldn't you do one? We could do one tomorrow. Let's do it. Anyway, let's get back to my story. But I'm going to check my DM. But, um... <laughs> that video is so funny. But I'm saying, like, we, uh, it just didn't make sense, okay? Like, he's begging me to be somewhere, right, with him. I'm like, if you felt like that 24-8, 24-7, like, and then didn't feel like you had to see such and such or be with such and such when it's time to be with such and such, that's all cool. Me, I'm like, they can have that shit. They can just have the whole trip, the whole house arrest situation with you. Like, I ain't coming. I'm going to go get some money. And, and it's not about money. I'm just going to distract myself in a positive way. You hear me? Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to distract myself in a positive way and just not crash out because I can't take no shot. I can't do no gangster shit, like pull up, like, all right, someone. When I pulled up, right, I ain't worried to tell you about this. I'm going to do this on somebody, somebody podcast. That's another story. That's a big story. I'm going to do it. I'm going to say for no, no for sure podcast. There will be some on them. I'm going to talk to them about what really happened to me. What was so devastating but not devastating at the same time because God ordered my step. So, this nigga tried to play with me, right? Oh, I was I'm gonna get off and check my hand real quick, cause and two, I'm gonna eat this ice cream. And three. Both, this one thing we do agree on, we both hate the fact that we fuck with each other the way we do because at any given moment we'll say fuck the person that's, we will say fuck that person for, for our toxic shit. Like, say if I, I'm doing something positive, say if I'm, say if I'm on set or say if I'm working, right? And I got to be there because they already paid me. But if he hit me up, we'll say fuck that for him. He been saying lately I've been shit choosing up, so I don't do that no more. But it's like he, he, I don't know if that's like a, 
a trick or what? Because it's like, bro, hold on. I don't be getting it. Now I've been drinking my H2O. That's all I've been drinking. H2O. But I'm about to get in the pool, honestly. It's my pool. Let me show you the pool. It's so hot. It's so pretty, too. Oh, the jet's off. But it's cool. Y'all know how I love the pool. I love that shit so bad. Oh. Oh, the Oreo shit? Okay, cool. Oh, look at that. That's it. Oh, look what you want one? You want a piece of ice cream, bro? But, um... Yeah, like, more of my speed, more of my speed. All right, bro. I'm, I'm on more of my speed, too. Bro. Hey, Darrell. But, um, I just wanted some ice cream, y'all. I gotta be careful how I'm gonna eat this right here. I'm gonna know you eat this right here because I might make a mess. I ain't making a mess. Everything is white in here. So I should just eat it over the sink. I can just, yeah, throw it over the sink. What type of ice? What? What type of Oreo ice? Look. You know how the Oreo ice cream be having the shit that, um, it's on top? It look like it's melted in. This don't look right. All right, I'm done running my mouth about my baby, my baby father. I was trying to leave it alone, but it's like every time, I just feel like he gets to say anything and that's what it is. Like, boy, shut the fuck up. Stop fucking lying. Before you write anything, you should be like, in my opinion, Have a girl summer? I don't know. I want a boy. These scars I have, they ain't stretch marks. They from just being rough as fuck. Like, I be cutting myself. That ain't a stretch mark. I burnt myself with butter. Like, I don't have no stretch marks. I'm so happy that I don't. Too sweet for me. It's not the right one. I like the orange strawberry one. But look, I'm about to hang out from y'all. Tell everybody I said I love them.
I just know we really beef niggas. I never said. <laughs> Because I was scared to be honest about how I really felt like, all right. Because he was making me feel bad. For me. You're like, who oh, like, you gonna fuck with your son? <laughs> it's like, all right, so we be talking about fixing things, right? But you could tell he can't. <laughs> That's another lie, huh? <laughs> okay, let me talk about this tattoo. So I was trying to go all the way through with getting it removed, right? It take like over a year for it to like, like it's a year process. Not like, oh, next week is uh, every six months or it's a couple years process to get all this off of me. So I'm like, Like, it got a scab up, it bleeds. It ha Bro, I looked up a girl that got her neck shit. I looked up exactly what I'm going through. Not, she ain't had no face that, but she had something else. She had a big one, and then she, it was really dark. And mine's really big, and it's really dark up here where the hair is. And basically, hers took a year and a half. And I'm not ready to do that because the first couple months of her doing all that shit, it looked disgusting, bro. It looked worse than eczema. It looked like your skin got burnt by a pot, but times 80,000. The healing process is whatever, but she said she couldn't move her neck as much. And I'm trying to get all this. I'm trying to get this, that. She only was getting this removed. Like this part of her neck removed. I'm trying to get the whole shit removed. Only thing I'm keeping is my butterfly. I mean, the face that is so cute. That's why I hope it's a boy. Cause I'm gonna name the fucking baby Jonathan. It's like, <laughs> so I can keep this with. <coughs> Man, I need to fucking remove this. But I don't take relationships serious no more to the point where I don't see myself in another relationship serious at all. I don't see myself <coughs> with another man. It's so annoying. Like, I think my husband is not in America. He like overseas or something. And I never traveled overseas yet. So, I mean, I went to London, but them niggas ugly as shit. But, uh... Long story short, babes. I can't. I don't know. Because look. Okay, I know when I drop the baby, my stomach go flat. I work out and get my butt back. Yeah. I still mentally, spiritually, emotionally can't see myself with another man. I could barely see myself with blue face. So it's like, that whole test run of, of geeking around and fucking around and that ain't my lane. Then I had relationships that I was in when I was really stuck in in high school, right? I got bored with them and left them. In my situation, so fucked up with him, I got bored with it and left. You get it? So I'm like, maybe there's, I got, I don't know. Basically, I don't believe there's probably real love out there. 
I mean, I, I, I believe, like, for me personally, I'm trying to think. Because I don't believe that, but I believe that. Like, I believe... Like, I, for example, I could see a cute nigga, right? I don't really, you know, it don't move me. Like, I would try to, like, engage in it. I would try to, like, see where it would go, right? And I know damn for sure it's not going to go nowhere because it's not... Whatever. I think I had my one and done fun with Blueface. That's it. And then that's it. I don't really see myself. That's why he over there trying to pretend. But he ain't pretending though. That's why I can tell him, like, yo. We don't really like each other. We don't really like each other. That's okay. That's fine. Like, we could be friends. But I don't think niggas believe in friends who got good pussy on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't belong in this world. It's so, like, not my world. You know? Like, <laughs> Like I'm an alien, and I'm not getting with all the the fake phony shit. Is you people keep saying focus on your bitch? I am focusing on me. I'm saying, okay, when there's a time when. Look, it's crazy because this is my prayer book and I'm looking down and it's, long story short, I know there's love out there, it's just, I'd rather love myself. <laughs> But I'm about to leave. I'm about to do these errands real quick. Check these emails. Check these injuries. Check all type of shit. <sighs> Go get this car. Just go do adult things. You feel me? But have a blessed day, guys. Um, I'm going to call y'all back. Okay. And then it's crazy. I can't lay on my stomach. How I want to lay on my stomach. I can't. I can't even do it. It's too big. Bye, y'all. Call you later.